Welcome to this tutorial on how to access ProQuest so that you can start your research paper. Now you will go to ProQuest and ProQuest. So, oh, there we go. Let's kind of log in and scroll in a little bit. Uh, so we've got ProQuest, ProQuest, P R O Q U E S T dot com. So you'll go to ProQuest dot com. And please open up this site. And ProQuest is an online database of peer-reviewed journals. This is an essential website for doing research this year. So once you go to ProQuest, what we want to do is we want to search. Uh, we want to, uh, let's see, actually for researchers right here. Let me scroll in so you guys can see that. Zoom in. So we're going to do this for researchers, and you guys are student and general researcher. So we'll go ahead and click here. And we want to log in to get started. So once you log in, I've already got Chuo University set, but just for uh, the purpose of demonstrating this one, I'll Go ahead and take that off. And what it says is to find your library. Okay, so what we want to do here is you're going to type in Chuo University. And we're going to search for Chuo University. There it is. And we're going to add Chuo University here. So we're going to log into ProQuest with Chuo University. And I'm going to pause this so you'll uh, so that I can sign in here. And you're going to have to sign in your student ID and your password. So I'll come back in just a second after I sign in to my Chuo address. So now that I've signed into uh, my Chuo library ProQuest, now we can enter our search terms. So right here, something that I'm interested in is AI in education. This will turn up my search results here. And what you can see is that I've got 973,000 results here. That's way too many. So what I need to do here is I need to limit these to full text and peer reviewed. So that should limit the number of results that I get. So now I'm coming down here to say only 124,000 results, so quite a few. But we can see that I've got several different now uh, peer reviewed, let's try full text as well. Um, I've got uh, now 112,000. And now you can choose, these are all peer reviewed articles that you can use for your research. So for example, if I choose this one here, it says AI education for the world. Uh, let's see how that one pans out. And this will turn up an article for you. We've got our abstract here. So go ahead and read an abstract, which is just a summary of the article. And if this seems like something that you want to use, then you can come to the top right up here, and you can download the PDF. Right here, you can download the PDF. You can also cite your work right here. If you have a printer at home, you can also print this. I prefer to use everything digital and just download the PDF. So uh, once we come over here, once you're ready to uh, download that and then you've read everything, now you need to cite where you got this information. So you click on cite and this will give you a citation. We're looking at APA 6th. It's actually APA 7th now, but it seems like uh, APA 6th will work here. Now with APA 6th, let's escape out of there. There we go. Okay, so this is an APA 6th. What we're going to do is we're going to highlight this and you will copy this. So you can right click and copy. And this will be your citation right here. So the last name, uh, Goal, that's the author. And the first 
name, the, the initials of the first name and the year it was published. And this is the title, AI Education for the World. This is the magazine that it was published in, AI Magazine. And this is where I found it. It's retrieved from this site in ProQuest. So I'll go ahead and hit done right there. And now I can go ahead and look at AI Education for the World. I can read my article. This is the author right here. And now I can get information from this article and I can reword what this author is saying. Don't copy exactly what the author says because that's plagiarism. But you want to rephrase what the author is saying and then cite what the author said. Okay, so I hope that this was helpful here in finding out how to get information for your research topic. And this is for ProQuest.